Hello there everyone, welcome back to James Redman TV and welcome to another Redman Roundup, the pre-show to the live stream, which will be back tonight. Guys, um, today we're not talking about much Liverpool related, we'll do that for the stream. Only because there's not much to talk about. One thing I did want to talk about, you guys know I like debates, and not debates, but just getting down to the fundamental premise of what are these rules and regulations in football. Uh, when, when teams are spending money and people are questioning it, I like to go into it and ask questions. I don't like to label people too quick. And, you know, even like with the allegations against teams on a, on a financial standpoint, you know, I, I used to, but now I like to try and take a standpoint of being a bit more both sides and, and actually seeing the situation for what it is so we know if it's cheating or not. Now, in this situation, we're talking about Mason Greenwood. Reason being, he came back to training yesterday looking like a lad from Stanley Road with a waghead, like he just was wearing all black. Um, no sponsored stuff or no Manchester United gear. Literally just went to training looking like some random kid from the street. It was one of those things where it was interesting because no one, uh, you know, everybody has known about the situation, but no one has really been looking into Greenwood. And I think the only safe, you know, photos that I've seen is the ones from when he was going to court. Now, should he play again? I, I understand the groans of a lot of people who've just went, oh, James, why are you even asking that question? And you're right, it doesn't look good on, on many senses. You know, the voice note that came out probably just over a year ago, uh, never good, you, you, you know, it, the thing is, the, the voice note says it can be a lot of things, but based on what it most likely is, it's not good for Mason Greenwood. Now, we've got to analyse the situation for what it is, because there is still a fundamental premise and law, and if we ignore the law, then there's no point in the law actually existing. So if we've got that there to be the premise of whether someone's innocent or guilty and he's not being charged as guilty, because I understand he's not necessarily being charged as innocent, but I am somebody who aligns with the mentality of innocent until proven guilty, especially Especially if you haven't been charged for anything like this before, which in Mason Greenwood's case he hasn't. So he's literally been innocent in his whole 18, 19 year life and he still hasn't been charged as guilty. So all I'm saying, all, although the voice note most likely says he's guilty and you can use your own logic and perception... The one thing I am saying is that the fundamental premise, which is the law, is saying that he is not being charged. Therefore, what I'm leading to is Manchester United can't do anything in a sense of offloading the player. Now, maybe if a team tries to buy him or a team tries to loan him, you can exercise that option. But the release of the contract, which is what a lot of people would enjoy here, is something that's not realistic. Because one thing that happens there is that Mason Green one could then you know, get his lawyers and then they can sue Manchester United. So with the fact that he hasn't been charged guilty, United can't just get rid of him. So that's one factor. So Manchester United are basically stuck with Mason Greenwood. And throughout this situation, I do not see many teams, try, try, you know, going to heavily exercise, bringing him to their team. Not that it's not possible, but it's just unlikely. So will he play for Manchester United again? Or will he play in the Premier League again, because we need to analyse the standards, you know, what's the wrong that someone needs to do to then not be able to play again, because if Mason Greenwood has done the worst of the worst, and let's say he's really hurt this girl, and that voice note implies that he could have very well done so, um, then yet you'd like to expect that he would not have to play in the Premier League again, and we wouldn't have to worry about any legal issues coming because of that, but then I need to look at the other side, so one, innocence until proven guilty, that's one thing that remains very true. Two, throughout the investigations, they were still speaking. So I'm not trying to defend Mason Greenwood. I'm just giving you the information on what's factual. And then let's analyse it from what we know on paper. The law, because again, what I said earlier, if there's no law, there's no premise. So what are we then basing it off? Just our own opinions? I don't think we should use our own opinions solely to why people should go to jail. So even though the evidence isn't good against Mason Greenwood, we also know that throughout the investigations, him and the girlfriend, who they are still together, were still speaking in communication and they still followed each other on Instagram. So that's one thing. Second of all, I do believe I've read a story where she is now pregnant or was pregnant and has had the baby. It's one of those things where, you know, for someone who went through a very traumatic experience, and I don't dispute that it could have, because again, the voice note implies that it might have been. But to stay with him and then to throughout the investigation, still be in communication with him. And then now, you know, it seems like you're going to be having a child and that he's still together. Um, all I'm simply trying to bring up is it doesn't help any case that, you know, if Mason Greenwood is this dangerous guy who is a threat to you or anybody else, well, you staying within his vicinity when 
you know, we literally had to, what did they do? They set like a, what's it called? That thing where they can't come within a certain distance of you. The fact that that was in place and the guys still spoke, I understand the kids and we do need to look at this like they are young people and today's young people, I know because I'm young, we're fucked. We've got a mad generation. We've got, we've got no models. Nobody has Jesus. Like, here's the thing, like shout out to Muslims because I feel like Christians and Muslims were onto something, you know what I mean? But like, if you've got no premise, no premise whatsoever, then you're just adhering to the society societal standard that you're seeing so I don't blame it's not that I don't blame kids because you've got to have your own sort of blame you can make your own choices but I'm just simply suggesting the idea that you know kids don't really align with anything because that's kind of what they're taught you know what I mean and Mason Greenwood is probably one of those so should he play in the Premier League again if he is guilty then of course he, sh he shouldn't or he should go somewhere else or whatever should happen Again, because I can't tell you rule for rule. But what I do know is that he hasn't been found guilty yet. Not innocent either, but not guilty. So Man United can't let him go. So they can't let him go. And then what's also in Mason Greenwood's favour is the fact that this girl was with him, speaking to him throughout the entire investigation. So I'm not here saying let's let him play or whatever, because I don't think that's actually good for him either. Y you know what I mean? I don't think that's good for him. I'm just simply saying if we've got no law or anything to get to, to, to legally say you should not be able to play because of this. That because you can't dispute the possibility of the voice notes, even though it's unlikely being role play or something like along those lines. And and I only raise these points because I don't think he should play, because for him it wouldn't be good. Fans would just be calling him a and stuff like that. So I don't think that's really good either. Um yeah, it's just one of those things where I, I, I don't think it's beneficial for anybody. Uh, I, you know, I think hopefully he's made a lot of money um, and he can just sort of live off with the rest of his Man United contract because, yeah, I just don't see how it works out. But I did want to talk about this topic because if there's anything you know about the situation that I don't know then and you believe, no, James, you've missed something, he shouldn't actually play because of this, this is evident, then fine. Uh, but all I do know is that he's not being charged as, as, as guilty. And if that's the case and he's not guilty, then he, he, he's legally allowed to play. So I, I do with that information what you will. Um, do with the story what you will. Uh, because, uh, you know, I do believe that if people are doing such things to, to girls just because they feel like they can or they feel entitled to, and you know, you wouldn't be surprised to believe that these footballers, especially young ones, are feeling entitled. Sounded like that in the video, you know what I mean? In the video, if you, if you go for it word for word, it sounded like he, he sounded a bit disappointed because he weren't getting what he wanted. It didn't sound nice, however, where you painted out illegal or not. It really doesn't sound good, and I don't want people to take that message out the video. Um, but when it just comes to playing and not playing again, that's a different question. So I, I just want to absolutely clarify, Mason Greenwood, no good, say, no good at all. Um, and I hope the girl's okay. But also, if he is a danger, a danger to society, like the way some people are saying he is, then you know why are they still together? Why is the family okay with it? And and you know how come people who are advising this girl telling her like stay with Mason Green? It's, it's a big shame if it's something that she doesn't want to do. But she is over eighteen, and therefore she can make her own decisions. And and you know, in a sense of having a baby with him and staying with him, that's her decision by law. So it's just. If he is bad, these have made it difficult to actually get the bad guy. So that's why, even if he is, we might not know. But, um, yeah, I'm really intrigued to know what you all say on this topic because I didn't want to come on here and say he's guilty or not because at the end of the day, I don't know. You know what I mean? I haven't... I went there in the fucking bedroom, thankfully, because that'd be fucking strange. But I'm just saying, if he is... You've got to look at that with some. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, I've just got a text message. If you did enjoy, then please do smash a like.